Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some No Man's Sky, shall we? Picking up where we left off, and you know what time it is. It's time for lunch. No, it's time to go to where the base computer archives wants us to go, which is off-world. In fact, if I look at this, it says um, we need to go to the galaxy map. It's not even messing around. And I'm more than willing to do this. We're going to get to the bottom of this base computer archive shenanigans. Because I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss the opportunity to potentially get a living ship. I can't even... Um, I don't even understand fully what that means. But I'm into it. Alright, so the current mission wants me to go where? Here. And this is where we need to go. It's a bit dangerous. There's a skull, but we need to get here. Now, the hyperdrive, you know, doesn't have the fuel, and that's okay. We just make the fuel. We do this. We go, okay, um, you need a warp cell. You need antimatter housing. You need antimatter. Oh, and you need, um... Ferrite dust? Oh, I don't actually have ferrite dust. Oh, oh, I gotta say, that's sad. But you know what? I'm not worried about it. Because I'm gonna do a little thing called uh, go to my capital ship, my freighter. Now, I... I'm not sure if I'm going to fly right by it. I think it's near the space station. But I'm going to use it and teleport. I'm going to stop. And I'm going to focus on my capital ship. Because I don't want to... Uh, go to the space station. I want to go to my ship. We're bypassing that. We're going in. I haven't got, gotten to use my ship in just a bit, so I'm excited about this. Let's do it. Get me in there. Oh, yeah. Flip me up. I'm getting vacuumed in. Landing sequence initiated. You love to see it. We get out. All right. Tremendous. And we're going to go up here. And I'm going to say hi to everybody. And be like, hey, how's everybody doing? Um, I would like to uh, manage the fleet. And they're awaiting a debrief, so let's do this. And um, what happened here? Dismiss? No, 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 no. Oh, no, I have to do something. I have to debrief it somewhere else. I think I can't. Um, I can't do it here. I have to go over here. So let's debrief it. Huh? You want to debrief? I'll debrief. You got it. Right here. Debrief him. Um, alright. Debrief. You know, I have to be convinced that debrief doesn't mean take off somebody's briefs. That's not what it means. It means, like, you had a brief, a piece of information that you wrote, and that you created it to give to me, and I'm relieving you of it not taking off underpants all right so this is 40,000 units two superconducting fibers bunch of cadmium um that's great you did a great job and you know you're the champ i need a new i need a new operation um here's my dude here uh, this is, well, Merchant Man. Okay. Uh, it's good to see you. Are you, what are you up to?
What? Collect images? He wants some pictures. Oh, okay. Take a photo for the overseer. All right, well, that's cool. We could do that. But no, no, I can't get distracted, buddy. I'm going to this. Base computer archives. Don't distract me. All right. Uh, upgrade and customize freighter. That's cool. Um, engage warp drive. Here it is. See, I'm, I'm learning how to use this bad boy. Hit me. Warp me. Look at this. This is how we warp in our massive ship. Now, I don't know if this thing goes any faster. I mean, why would it? It's loading time, I get that. But, um... There's a part of me that wants to think, like, this ship is more powerful and somehow it gets faster. But maybe warp drive is like, you know, it's like the speed of light. It's just this constant. Either way, I made it. I'm pumped. I've warped 20 times. I'm a surveyor. Um, and I feel good about being a surveyor. And that device that you interact with right there, the upgrade control, looks like R2-D2 would put his, like, little interfacing tool in there. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to send my people. Yeah, plan and dispatch. Let's dispatch, dude. Let's see what you got, what you got. Planned routes. All right, um... I want... My person is good at industrial, I think. So this one is like the mission of quote-unquote peace. So let's assign a ship that is, yeah, this mining vessel uh, that's amazing at this. And then that's great. And then we'll, you know, go back and... Um, launch... Equip extra modules. I don't think I have any modules equipped. That's neat, but no, I don't. So launch the expedition. It's on it. They're on it. Heck yeah. He's sanitizing data flows. I don't even know how to take that information. I need to sanitize some data flows myself. Uh, and by that, I mean I'm just going to go to my ship. And let's not talk about these data flows. I need to get out of here. Uh-oh. Man, what are the chances we parked in the same bay? I hope we don't bump into each other. I know you're on your way to your expedition. I gotta go check out the base computer archives. Okay, you go, actually. You go first. Oh, God. Whoa, we left it. That was almost... We gotta have open lines of communication. We can't have that happen again. You know what I mean? Like, that was... Oof, that was diabolical. All right. You know what makes it more exciting, though? Maybe he's just trying to spice it up. Or they're trying to spice it up. I don't know what... I don't know what to make of them gender-wise. Probably not even important. All right. Definitely not important. All right, let's go over here. Corrupt archive data. I'm going for it. What you got? We're coming for it. I'm stopping. I'm gonna have to scan, but is it like unfair to just cheat? Like I hope the game doesn't get upset if I just think like, I bet that this is where it wants me to go. Oh boy, which is right here, but maybe it's not. Okay, so I'm just gonna land. I'm gonna land and just think maybe this is it. This planet is what we call extreme. extreme extreme I'm going for it. Ouch. I hurt my legs. Don't trick me with this. I'm I got I'm on a mission. I'm gonna get distracted. I'm gonna be focused. We're going. 
for this. Get me in here. All right, tentacles. Hit me. All right. Access that memory. I found them standing over me as I awoke, their beak chattering, their eyes caught between horror and joy. It was the tallest yek I had ever seen, but the mystery was soon solved. They asked me of the Empire. They wanted to know if the first spawn still spoke their name. In life, they had possessed a hundred Korvax slaves, you see. They do not remember how they arrived in this place. Their face swarms with nanites. They are lonely. Search the cache. I wish my face swarmed with nanites. I searched the cached, and what we get? Underwater protection module. All right, so um, we need to visit. We need to search the archives again. So we're done, but I'm just going to kind of look around in here. We got radiation. That's always fun. Get some cash. Get a little research specimen. The Gek love it. How did you find that? Don't ask. I just did. Secrets of the trade. And what did we get out of there? A micro processor. Take that. Um, lantern. I turned it off. We don't want to see what's in here. No one needs to know. Oh, it looks like there's a uh, sector navigation beacon quite close. We can go check that out. You know, another nice thing is... Are there eggs around this? I, maybe not. Maybe this is the one that, like, doesn't have the eggs. Hit me. I've actually been here before. Imagine that. All right, life support gel. Just cover me with gel. Ah, uh, these aren't... It looks like maybe... The, I want to say maybe there once were eggs, but... A savvy entrepreneur came here and stole them so they haven't, you know, been born again, as it were. That's okay. And at this point... What is the... What does that guy want me to take a picture of? Um, oh, scan planets from space. Yeah, I'm not in space. I'm... On a dangerous world. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta be on a dangerous world. Anything I can scan here? Do I know what this is? Now, normally I would take those, but the Sentinels get upset, and it's a lot of hassle. So I'm gonna, like, just avoid the hassle. Alright, the radiation protection is actually becoming a problem. Wait, wait. Oh my god, I was going to my capital ship and not my ship. Alright, I'm gonna have to get lazy. Hit me, ship. I know you're right next to me, so... <laughs> the ship is like, dude, you're calling me from like five feet away. Yes. Yes, I am doing that. I've got radiation problems. But you could easily solve that with stuff from your inventory. Look. I'm not asking. I'm saying help me out. Alright, where's my ship? Where's that capital ship? And I don't... 
don't know the answer to this, and I think I've asked, I'm not sure, but is there a way to just, like, you know how if you're on the road in The Witcher, then um, Roach will just kind of, like, auto-travel for you? And even in um, Grand Theft Auto, it's at some point, I swear, in the fifth one, you can, like, you know, plot a route and it will auto-drive. I don't want to do that all the time, but sometimes I'm just like, can you just fly me back to the autopilot me back to my, my ship? By the way, that planet we haven't scanned, is that planet good one? It's got selenium on it. I think my ship would think it's funny if I tried to fly into the rockets on the back. My ship is really big. Look at all those cargo pods. Filled with cacti flesh. Looks like a gun. Okay, so, you know. It's vaguely embarrassing. I then not like immediately seeing how I get on my ship. I need to uh, get better with it. There we go, that's where it is. It's by these, like, antenna. There. That's how you get on. Look, there's some other ships coming on. Come on on. Welcome aboard, good friends. And do I know this guy? Frigek Vifri. You want to be in my squad? Squadron is full. Alright, well, do you have any ferrite dust? I'm kind of looking for that. He doesn't. He's like, I ain't got it. It's got Geknip. That's like an unconscionable amount of Geknip. This guy's got a problem. Look, I didn't come to your frigate to be judged about my geck nip habit. I eat what I want. Fair enough. Yes, you do. Rock on, proud warrior. All right. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our own... Oh, wait, no, I don't need to do this. Leave, leave. No, no, no. I've got an even better way of doing business. It's called, I build a warp thing. It's over here. What's up, dude? Good to see you walking around. I really need to build a more recreational area for people. I don't quite have that. Oh, harvest all plants. Oh. Oh my goodness. What an amazing feature. No, no, harvest them all. Hit me the harvest. Look at that. They just disappear in my hands. All right. We're going back to the base. Man, we're do I'm taking advantage of all the shortcuts now. This is awesome. We're in. Hey. What's up? Computer. And it's recovering stuff. Iteration lost. Follow those coordinates. What you got for me? Interstellar coordinates? Alright, I'll go... I'll follow it. I'll go around the galaxy for you. Whatever you need. Now, in the meantime, I gotta offload some... I got some stuff. 
I'm not proud of it, but I got some things. I'm gonna offload these things. Actually, I am proud of it. Alright, but let me buy some. You got any dust? Yeah, hit me with all of this. And you got, uh. Man, if I could just buy. Um. Like the warp fuel. It'd be kind of useful. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I have a multi-tool expansion slot, which, you know, I could use that. I haven't decided yet. Do I have any other things like that that are really pressing? No, not really. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is quick transfer... Like, I have all this cadmium, or did that go into my inventory of... No, I'll put that over there. Paraffinium. Actually, no, I think paraffinium is one I want to carry. You know what? Most of this stuff is probably okay. Corvac casing, I'll dump. Phosphorus. Put it in there. Oh, grab ball goes in the plant section. Alright. Now, is there a gather all plants for these guys? It doesn't look like it. Like, I wish that there were, but it's alright. I'll get over it. Alright, you know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to just warp onto my... Frigate. And... This is my ship. Now, I don't know about previous system. It should be on this system. Maybe that it just means... Previous system just means, like, you know... The one you were just on. Okay, fine. Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, it's a really popular area. I'm glad to see you. Um, I need to go to... The Galaxy Scanner for my mission. Can I consult the galaxy map right now? Like, I feel like I should be able to. But maybe this doesn't count as in space. Maybe I messed it up. Oh, look. It's telling me to go here. Yeah. Yeah. I think this will work. All right, fantastic. We're on. And now I'm going to just get out, hit my ship. I think there's a way to, is this like warp into your ship or warp back by the ship? It is warp back by the ship. That's very clever. See, by actually using this freighter for the first time, look at that guy on that scissor lift. I don't think that's safe. Um... I can actually learn the ins and outs of it. Alright. Where in God's name do I need to go? Up here? Up here? I saw it. 
Nah, that's the space. Oh, it's over here. We're there. I discovered this planet years ago. Take me. See, we get here. And one day. This planet looks sweet. The snowy peaks. The coniferous vegetation. The rock teeth of the dragon. Oh, God. <laughs> I boosted. I was like trying to land and I put pushed the accelerator. That's a rookie driving mistake. That's funny though. I hope whoever lives there can forgive. Oh no, it don't look like nobody lives there with the smoke coming out of the old doorway there. This looks like the origin of the signal. Alright. Well, at least I don't have to worry about it. About the property damage and a potential lawsuit. No eggs. Alright. Talk to me. Access that memory. The three of us joined to the center. The Sentinel, the first spawn, and the Traveler, all children of the Atlas, all hoping for some answer in the void. The first spawn would not stop talking, would not stop glorifying their cruel life of brutality and pain. One night they sang a song, a tale of a lost people, of an armada of freighters fleeing the abyss, of a world where every sentinel turned against every living thing, annihilating them all within moments. Laylaps showed no sign of understanding. It did not leave us, nor did it try and explain. Perhaps the sentinels were right. Search that cache. Hey, scatter blaster. Just in case, I want to blow something up. We got a blizzard coming in. Looks like I've already actually gotten that. Like, I probably got all of this already. Oh, but I didn't get the animals. What about this rock? Did I get that? Nope. Make that money. Oh, animal guy. Yeah, I really haven't spent much time here. As you can see by my... I'll make a little money. Alright, so... <laughs> we got a blizz. New planetary record. Coldest temperature. Yikes. Probably should get inside. Oh, you're amazing. All right. Um, so where are we? Have I scanned that planet? I couldn't even say. So let me see. All right, looking at the ship. I believe, did I go up? Up, up, up. Here it is. I'm getting better at finding the door. Every once in a while, you know, I stumble upon the doorway.
Alright, I'm gonna go out. And then I'm gonna go in here. And just really, really demonstrate. So that I know nothing about this ship. And then... Um, I'm gonna... Oh wait, my, my warper though is... Uh, over here. Hit me. I don't think the... I would be embarrassed if the base computer were on my frigate and I didn't realize. I don't think it is. You might be able to build it, to be all on. I mean, maybe. I don't know. It could be a thing that you can do. back at the desert dream world hi base computer how are you feeling today you're looking good text is scrolling away um possible remote terminus backup download the coordinates you know it hit it all right so we found some more coordinates so now we've got a really good system for following these coordinates by just warping to our ship, launching off, and then warping back. And we're going to continue with this base computer archive quest line and making progress, making bucks, exploring the universe, and having a blast in No Man's Sky. Everyone, I want to say thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you're still finding it to be fun and uh, maybe even useful. I know I'm finding it useful because everyone is sharing all of these awesome tips, and I really appreciate that so much as I continue to learn the game. Take care.